Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's Jason Everett here. And today I want to share with you how you can create your own nested data view queries. So this is something I've recently discovered and I found it really helps to increase the efficiency of finding different files within your fold. For example, you can see this note that I've created over here. And this is a simple data view query. But the cool thing is, this is actually a data view query of data view query. So what does that mean? Like, when I, whenever I click on one of these notes, you can see it opens up another note with even more um, different things that I can that I can select. And by doing this, I'm essentially building my own sort of file management structure. Okay, and it, the beauty is that it can just be customized whatever way you want. Um, now, if this is your first time using data view, I would highly recommend you first start by watching this video that I've created on how to start data view for beginners. However, this video is going to be a little bit more advanced. And what I'm going to show you is number one, how to actually create one of these nested uh, file structures with data view. Um, so for example, when you click here, this is going to open up another data view query with the different books that I have. So that's the first thing I'm going to share with you. And then the second thing is how to add one of these buttons that allows you to essentially create new notes within your data view. Basically, whenever I click this button now, it's going to actually uh, give it a second and it's going to show a new note specifically set up with a template that I've already designed. Um, this is basically around thinking time, which is from the book, The Road Less Stupid. Highly recommend to check that one out. So let's dive into how to actually do this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you need to have a list of different collections. So the way that I even discovered that I could do these nested data view queries is I started with this folder that you can see over here and I have a whole bunch of different collections. I've got like different tasks that I wanted to complete. Um, this is all the different notes within my vault up. Oh, this one's going to freeze my whole computer. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so this is all the different notes within my vault and then essentially I, once I had all these different collections, those were my initial data view notes. Then from there, um, what you'll notice is that all of these different data view notes over here, they've all got the same YAML. So this is basically what you want to add to each one of these notes. So I've got the category uh, collections and you can see each one of these, the thinking times also got category collections. So by just uh, adding that category collections, that's the criteria that I then use for the main note, which is called all collections. And then you can see inside of the actual data view block, all I'm doing is I'm just saying where it contains category collections to go and find all of my different collection notes and then put them in one big collection note. So that's kind of how this works. Um, there's not really too much more to explain around that. Let me know if you have any questions on that. So the second thing then is when you have that created, how do you create this, this button plugin that essentially allows you to add new notes on command? Uh, well, how do we actually set that up? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have these plugins installed. The first one you need is Templater. Okay. So you want to make sure that you go to your community plugins over here, type in Templater and then make sure that you have this plugin installed. Uh, this one is absolutely amazing. I use this pretty much every single day now because it just helps in so many different ways. Um, so that's the first one. The second thing, of course, is that you're going to definitely need to get the data view plugin. So if I just go back to the community plugins, I'm gonna go here and type in data view. All right, but by this point, you should already know how to use data view. So Definitely make sure that you have data view installed. And then the last one, actually second last one that you're going to need is the button plugin. So this one, um, you, it's just called buttons and you want to make sure this one is, uh, is installed by Sam Morrison. And then the last one that you're going to need is going to be this one. I believe it's called quick add. So quick add is essentially the plugin that I'm using to automatically create notes based on the templates. Okay, uh, now that you've got these plugins installed, let's look at how we can create this functionality uh, with the button that automatically adds to this data view, data view query. Okay, so first thing to look at is your templates, all right? So you can see here is my templates folder. These are all the different templates that I've got. By the way, if you want to get access to this folder um, and then the blueprints and different frameworks and workflows I've already created, you can download my vault inside of uh, Patreon with the link in the description. But basically, here's the different templates, right? And this is the template that I use for thinking time. Right? And then this is going to be um, the starting point for the, uh, for the plugin, right? So if I go here to templates, uh, well, actually, no, not to templates, to templater. So this is the plugin that we just installed. You're going to see it's going to ask for your template folder location. And basically, 
the folder location is just actually going to be, uh, I don't know why it's not there. So folder location is going to be templates. All right. Now the, the value of doing that is then whenever you want to create a template, like let's say I wanted to create a new template here, I'll just click Alt E and it's going to show all of my different templates. And literally just by clicking one of these, like for example, monthly, it's going to add that template over there. So that uh, is already like why templates are so cool. Okay. Now, once that's installed, uh, and once you've got that whole plugin set up, the next thing is that we want to go here to the button plugin. So actually, um, no, the button plugin is completely fine on its own. So once uh, that's done, now we want to go to quick add. Okay. So quick add is basically where the magic happens. This is where we're going to take the, the code from the button plugin, and we're going to create a new um, automatic action that happens when oh th that we've created okay so you can see this is the only entry that i've got in quick add i've got a template new thinking time session so we can see this is the template note thinking time this is a thinking time entry all right so hopefully you're following me on that and basically how does this actually work so inside of this new thinking time session uh quick add function what i'm going to do is it's going to ask me for the template path so what I, what I do is I just go to my templates folder and then I link to that note, the template note that I've already created. All right. Then you just want to make sure you copy these settings. So file name format, you keep that the same. Um, the file name, I've got, I've got this one set to TT episode, thinking time episode. And then I've also got um, this option selected, create in folder. Okay, so when you select this, it's going to ask you which folder do you want to create the note in. And then I've created a specific folder location called Thinking Time Sessions and then First Season. All right, so this is basically the folder structure that I've already set up. And just to illustrate that, you can see here Thinking Time Sessions, and then there's the folder First Season, and these are the different Thinking Time notes. Okay, so just going back over here. Um, once that's actually um, set up, what you're gonna do, you're, you're gonna add like the folder path and then you have to click on add over there, all right? So just make sure that you've got the, the right folder that you wanna send it to. And then basically, yeah, just keep these settings all the way the same. I turn on increment file name, which is pretty cool because I just set this to episode one and then it's automatically gonna update it to whatever's the latest file name. So um, you can see right now we're on episode five. And then also you have these options open in the file created or new tab, open the file created in a new tab. So just to demonstrate that functionality, if I go back here to my thinking time session, so click there, um, let's say I wanted to create a new one. It's going to open it in a new tab and then I literally have it right there. So that's basically the setting. This is how it's, it's all set up over here. Um, again, just so you can see it. Make sure that you just copy this. Now we're not done yet. The next thing that you have to do is once you've created um, that template and you've already created the now the quick add function, the next thing is you can see this is a piece of code over here. So inside of Obsidian, we've got these code blocks and this is basically the code that you wanna create. So I'm gonna just add this in the description. You can literally just copy this and then you can add this to your note. But basically it's gonna be three of these inverted commas um, and then you're going to have the button name, new thinking time session. So basically what we're doing is we're naming what the button looks like. Like if I just go here, you can see name of the button is new thinking time session, right? The type is a command. Okay. And then the action is quick add. So now we actually just put the quick add template. Oh, so we just put the words quick add there. And then as long as you just copy this exactly, it'll, it'll work. I promise you. And then you literally just add the name of your quick add template. So here again, you can see I've got it called template new thinking time session. And when I click on the settings, you've got template new thinking time session. So whatever you call this, you want to just copy that name and you want to put that, um, for the button over here. Sorry. You want to put that same name in the button here. So template new thinking time session. So once that's done, Okay. And you've been able to follow all the steps. I know it's a little bit tricky to, to understand that, but once you follow all these steps, then you will have one of these buttons. And when you click it, it's going to just do the quick add action that we've already just set up. It's going to find that specific template, um, the template note that we created, this thinking time entry note. And then from there, it's going to automatically create it inside of here so that we can just um, use the exact template that we want. And that's pretty much it. So 
Um, I know this was kind of two videos in one, but I just wanted to share with you all of these features. So now you know how to create a nested uh, data view query. And then you also know how to create one of these buttons that allows you to quickly add to reoccurring notes that you want to set up. Thanks for watching this video. And by the way, if you are someone who wants to start using Obsidian, you know the value of Obsidian, you want to start using it every single day, kind of like I use it right now to manage my entire life, basically, then if you want to get help on how to actually start using it, I'm more than happy to help you if you just send me a message on my Patreon and uh, I'd love to help you with that. So again, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, as well as if you have any ideas for future videos, I would love to hear them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.